Virtual production comes with a lot of terms. So today, we're gonna walk you through 20. You gotta know. Cool. Oh, stay tuned. All right, different outfit, same Josh. Here's the concept. We've got 20 virtual production terms in here. I'm gonna spin it randomly, pick one out. Each definition is from the VP glossary, so you've got all the information you need to know. Oh, here we go. Volume. The volume is the physical space where performance capture happens. This can also refer to a space almost nearly enclosed by LED panels in an ICVFX LED volume. I just said volume twice, you get the point. Metahuman. Metahumans are high fidelity digital humans that you can use in virtual worlds. They were initially made by Weta Digital, but they're now owned by Unreal Engine and Epic Games. They're fully controllable in UE5. This is too close. Real-time rendering. Real-time rendering is how XR is achieved. It's the process of rendering a live background behind an actor so that it can be shot in camera. Side hatch. Tracking. Tracking is the process of determining the position and orientation of either the digital camera in your digital scene or other objects that you're looking to track the motion of. This is essential for merging the virtual world with the physical world. Reverse. Oh. Pre-visualization. Previs or pre-visualization is the time before production. Filmmakers can plan their shots and see what's possible on a virtual production set. It's a time for collaboration and when to iron out all the kinks of both your technical and creative issues that you might find on the day of shooting. It's basically used to make sure that the production day goes as smooth as possible. ICVFX. ICVFX stands for in-camera visual effects. When you're capturing the effects like background that's virtual replaced on an LED wall in your camera so you don't have to do effects work in post. At least that's the hope. Pixel pitch. The pixel pitch of a particular tile is measured in a decimal. Now that number refers to the amount of millimeters between each diode. Some people think the larger the pixel pitch you have, the worse it is, which isn't necessarily true. First off, the smaller the pixel pitch you have equals more power because more lights. And you might not actually need that small of a pixel pitch based on your production. What you can use that pixel pitch number for is an equation to determine how far away from the wall your camera can be. XR, AR. XR, AR, MR, VR. What are all these R's? XR is extended reality, and it's the umbrella term for everything we're about to talk about. AR is augmented reality, where something is optimized in the real world, but it's shown as a virtual symbol. A good example of this is putting on a headset, seeing everything in front of you, but having an extra computer screen that's not actually there. VR is virtual reality, where the entire field of view from the user is replaced virtually. Think virtual games on the Oculus Rift. Mixed reality is a little bit different. It's somewhere between augmented and virtual reality, but I would put it right in the middle of those, and that's where we do virtual production. It's when we blend virtual elements and real elements into one cohesive product. An example for this one, you've got a physical set on a stage, but the background is virtual, and it can be changed to whatever you need it to be. That together is mixed reality. Set extension. Set extension is the continuation of the content that's being displayed on an LED wall in camera. Even if the camera pans past the LED wall, the content is extended virtually so the world continues. Moses. Moses is a technology company that focuses on motion tracking and automated camera movement. They invent some really cool stuff like the Moses Star Tracker. We made a full tutorial on how to set that up right here. We visited Moses in December and they gave us an awesome tour of their facility and you can check out that video right here. A top hatch on this one. A virtual camera. A virtual camera is a camera in a real-time render engine that acts exactly as a physical camera. We use them in virtual production to set up shots, change focal lengths, and then project that onto an LED volume or replace a green screen so that it looks realistic, like it's actually being shot in camera. Virtual production DMX. 
DMX stands for Digital Multiplex. It's a way of programming lights to change and shift live with your scene, adding to the in-camera VFX. Unreal Engine 5. Unreal Engine 5 is a real-time render engine made by Epic Games. It's the link that we have between the virtual world and the real world. Studios like us use Unreal Engine 5 to build environments that we can then project on LED walls and use those renders in real time while we're shooting on set. While there are other real-time render engines without UE5, there's no way the industry would have gotten as big or as far as it has without it. There we go. Oh, geez. Environment. The environment is the virtual space that we can change and manipulate to sync with our scene. So if we want to shoot in the outback, we're going to have foreground elements that suit that, but the environment will actually be the Australian outback. That environment either replaces a green screen, is put on an LED wall, or whatever other way you want to do virtual production. Genlock. Genlock refers to the syncing of digital triggers, whether that be no flicker on the screen or ensuring that the frames and subframes of everything going on in a virtual production is in sync. Without Genlock, the output of an LED volume would look like this. Exactly. Frustum. The frustum is the area in the virtual world that the physical camera sees. The reason why a frustum is so important is because the computer's processing power can focus solely on what's in the frustum and not waste time rendering things that aren't going to be in the final shot. Tile. Okay, so you've got your LEDs. Now you turn that square into a tile. Now traditionally, there's four tiles in a cabinet, and that cabinet of LED tiles then could be conformed to any size, and that is your LED volume. Only two left. Brompton Technologies. Brompton Technologies is a company that focuses on processors for LED walls. They unify and calibrate the LED panels as one unit for use on virtual production sets. They've also got an awesome new product called True Light, which we made a video on right over here. Lastly, Generative AI for virtual production. Generative AI for virtual production refers to artificial intelligence that can create based on prompts. Now we're going to see that application in virtual production in a few different ways. There are companies working to build programs that will change the background based on a prompt. Imagine you're on a set and you've got a mountain on your LED backdrop, but you want snow on top. Instead of getting someone to go in there and change everything and bring in new textures, you can just go to your prompt bar and type in add snow to the top of that mountain over there. Boom, it's going to happen and it's gonna happen faster than you think well that's it everybody this thing's empty which means we've gone through 20 virtual production terms that you've got to know please check out our related videos and subscribe we'll see you in the next one